So now, last level, Lighthouse on the Cape. It's going to be the boss fight. And there's going to be a lot of cutscene here. And you know, this is one of the game where I'm going to let the cutscene play out. So this is the Lighthouse. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a tip also for the fishing goal in the last four level here is use a carrot as a bait this way you will catch a special fish that you can only catch on the last four level of the Starlight Canyon and you have bigger chance of catching bigger fish Are you ready? That's yes. before they start all the cutscene and stuff because you can always keep the fishing go for the end guys by the way it's not a requirement but if you want to get the name changing ticket or name change ticket as fast as possible you need to get a lot of metal and you need to do some fishing go like ASAP and the best thing to upgrade on your fishing rod is always the luck I mentioned I mentioned it many times in the previous part level but I will keep talking about it until like we're out of fishing goal. You will also have to take a picture of that when uh, you will switch to Maximilian. What in the hell? Just can't write that. they start attacking it come on do something and me I hope I really don't fail man because these cutscene can be long to watch like this is the first time I try I mean I did some test run by skipping the cutscene before but this is the first time I tried and I don't want to fail because then it, it ruined the fucking commentary to be honest. <laughs> and I cannot take damage. The only part where it might be annoying is against uh, Gaspar. Because with Max is easy, you cannot really take damage from the flame. <laughs> Damn! Come on, guys, go up the stair faster than that. Slow like a turtle. Where are you going? 
I'm gonna jump like Spider-Man. Look at him jumping, man. Come on, Monica. Go kill that freaking gas bar. Come on, go Matrix on him. You remember me? I have the last sword. You ready to eat my freaking sword? That's evil fire, guys. Evil fire. Now, it's a really nice boss battle, to be honest. So. I remember you switch when you take out a certain amount of health uh, from uh, Gaspard. And it's nice. In the cinematic, you have the real sword that I have right now. I gotta get close to him. And switching to Max, take a picture of this here. Switch to the ride and then just fire. Fire away. Pretty neat. Fucking bitch! I should have, like, I should have killed him, but it's okay. I mean, I got this down. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. There's a uh, one that too close from her. You cannot take damage from that here basically, so it's easy enough. There you go. You should have died faster, to be honest, because I missed the, uh, I missed my last hit the last time. That's why that kind of suck, because I would have got the fucker earlier.
That sword is ugly as shit, but damn it hurts. Why are you hesitating, girl? After all these cutscenes, uh, I'm gonna save also before going into the future. It's taking a while for, for him to hang me. It was kinda hard. Play block. First one, then he gets hit by the second. Fail. Fail as a wizard. Flight, it was unavoidable. See, so he got fried like chicken. That's why basically when he dies, he turns uh, into treat chicken in your inventory. Of course, of course, I'm joking here, guys. <laughs> Would be so freaking stupid. So emotional. What are you doing? Finish him off. He's gonna die anyway. Ah, game logic. Can't hear you. message is that even when you try to change stuff in the past some things are set in stone and won't change no matter how hard you try and that was the case right there they basically failed we couldn't save them I guess not you're wrong incompetent 
And that's where we're gonna go save because I don't want to re-watch all that and then we'll pick up after right here so now we're going in the future because there's gonna be other cutscene and I didn't want the video to be too long Because you have to go back in the future again after. And that's basically Lynn later as a sage. A <laughs> little Rufio praying around. <laughs> they really look like Rufio in the train. Or oh, is that Rufio? Yeah, I think so. He's in the pass, if I remember. Is ten thousand years in the past now. Ten thousand years? That's right. It seems that he's sending an unthinkably powerful consciousness from that time to ours, all by his own doing. The servants of Griffin in our time are those who are in sympathy with his consciousness. Hmm, interesting. Go on.
Denikyo Coast. You mean the Fish now too? Yep. Yo. Thank you, Chris the Prince Sage. See you, Liz. <laughs> A bit crazy, right? Yeah. You're crazy, Lynn. We'll have to come back, guys. Where are you going? Lynn was a sage and had become strong. I'm sure Crest had become a star and was looking down on Lynn from above. Oh. Because for Lynn, Crest would always be the one true sage forever. That's sweet, boy. We'll have to come back here. I don't know where they're doing all that. There will be another cutscene. Of course, I mean, you see there's some chests on top that I have to get. I cannot... I still cannot get the glitch chest. There's one that you have to not get because it's glitch and it's going to prevent you from... I don't know what. Because when I was a child, I never paid attention to that. Yup. I'll tell you. I just have to go back one more time in the future and then we'll go after because there's always a second cutscene also I need to take a picture of the moon crystal you see change happen in the future so That's because of a hundred percent point, of course, in the uh, Georama. <laughs> like it's gonna replace my Alien King now. No, that's a... Uh, it's not a bad sword, but of course, it's not an Island King. Okay, you laugh too much, shut up. Moon Crystal. Then we need to go around here for some chests. I think there's like two. If I'm missing some, uh, if I'm missing some, seriously, that you see, just let me know in the the video. Anyway, it's not really important. I'm doing no damage. I don't need all this stuff that I'm picking up, to be honest. But I'm showing it to you guys. So that you know, let's see, is there other somewhere? Yeah, there, there's one that's glitched, but again, you don't want to get this one. Okay, there's two there. Right here. Fruit of it then. And now we're leaving to Venicchio. Of the life like Pinocchio. Let's go. Now we'll have uh, some picture to take when we get there. Yep. Now we choose Vinicio, and the music changed there also, it's pretty sweet. Sounds really beachy, you know?
the bridge that's down. Leave it to us. Yeah, of course. There's always something down. I mean, we can continue with the cutscene and all, it's no problem. So here there's gonna be a couple of pictures to take, also a picture of a, of a ghost scoop at night, and, and the Vinicio evening sun. <laughs> so funny. Like, of course, you've never been to the ocean. Uh, of course. Crazy kid. Oh. Chapter 4 Goodbye Shingala That's me messing around with a pen by the way Okay, so Now the sun is back there at some point when it's late uh, Red house and then this And then you got something in the water that you can take Luna Stone Shard and uh, yeah, Ghost Picture. We'll do that uh, later. But you can always find it in a guide, to be honest. That's what I'll do. I'll probably do it outside of the recording time. Simply because sometimes it's long to wait for the night, so. You mustn't move it. I said not to move it. What do you want? I'm a bit tied up right now. That's a Shigura, isn't it? He's still a child. Ah, oh, so you know about them, do you? I gave him a name. I call him Shingala. He turned up here lost about a month ago. Every year at about this time, the Shigura come from the south and live on these shores for a while. This one must have got split up from the tribe. Huh. I'm Pao. I live in this cave. How's it going? What's up, pal? I'm Maximilian. I'm Monica. Is Shingala injured? Yeah. He slipped from the cliff yesterday and took me with him. <laughs> I didn't think human medicine would be any good. Damn it. Sorry about this, but I need to ask a favor. Can you watch Shingala while I go and look for some medicine? Outside the cave, there's a place where some Shigura are gathered. Now, I think if I go there, I might be able to find some medicine that will help. Hmm. Watch him. What do we do? Just watch him. I'll be as quick as I can. Thanks. And of hey, course, wait a minute. he will get the fuck out of there. Aw, oh, man, he's just gone. <laughs> How come we get stuck here babysitting some sea dragon? The nerve of that kid. Huh. Oh, it's not that bad. This big guy's pretty cool. <laughs> what? He wants to get the fuck out of there. What's the matter with him? He's headed outside. You've got to stop him. It's no good. He doesn't give a shit. And then the other guy will complain because we were supposed to watch him. I mean, come on, that was her job. And boom! We're gonna start here with the next level after. Okay. So now the first level of Ocean's Roar Cave. So we have Monster Transformation, we're not gonna do that. Fish and Go, we're gonna do it after it's clear. So the only metal we can get for now 
is the clear time. So we're definitely gonna go for that. It's gonna be a repeat with Monica's uh, on bed at that point. But we're gonna be able to bring in uh, some uh, some other people with us. Damn that damage in the party now that Lin. Well, it's gone. It's gone from the party. And here for this chapter, you will need you will need paint. For some reason, I really thought he was gonna fire something at me from that distance. Man, these guys are tough to that shit, like, what the fuck? I guess it's not their weakness. It's really not their weakness. Sword probably is more. So we know what that, what that ending is. I know that we also got here a pirate enemy right there. I'm gonna charge that fucker. There you go. And now, is there anything else there? Yes, there is a Corsair again. Wake up, move, do something. No reaction from these guys, seriously. So we know the end is right there, and I really doubt there's going to be an enemy between the end and that tiny space. So we're going to add... Uh, you don't touch me. And I kill you. It's a good deal, I think. So now, let's be careful. We'll we're still in uncharted territory. Now I assume that part of Luna Stone that I have is to open that door, but I don't remember. And there are certain level that when we start like a new stage like this, uh, I won't do practice run because I seriously don't see the point of doing that. So we know that the Luna Stone is um, the thing that we need to end the level if you want. There you go. Double kill. Not wasting a key on that. No point anyway. I'm not. I know we're gonna get enough metal here to create like another weapon. This time we're gonna go for the supernova with the dude Maximilian, and then uh, we'll be good. Every character will have their proper weapon. Well. Of course, at some point he'll still miss uh, his legend, his armor, legendary armor that will be really useful for uh, the last chapter. Like it's an extra chapter, but it's useful. So there's someone back there here. Okay, there you go. So another thing I could keep upgrading, I guess, is a right pod. I guess I could do that also. Uh, I'm gonna wake up or what? Oh, I'm still sleeping, I guess. Huh, well, and I cleared all the enemy. Shortest time, got a medal for that. Of course, you can get the medal for monster transformation. What is really neat is that we didn't have to go in that place, uh, the area that was locked, you know? Like, I could go for the chest, but I, I don't care. Not gonna go the long way around for that. We got through that level pretty easy. Now, before we start that second level, of course, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna do the fishing goal right here on this same level. So I'll redo that level anyway. It was pretty easy, and then after 
will do that. But of course, as usual, you won't see me redoing the level on video. I mentioned it many times before, but some people are still wondering. Yeah. So there you go. Proceed to the next floor. Yes, thank you.